Ladies as well, we are the Art School Rejects, and we have a good show for you guys tonight. On tonight's podcast, we have Carlos, hey, and we have special guests, Jamie, hi, and Kat, hola, and Shane is myself. (laughs) So tonight, we're talking about Princess Monoke and other things. Of Miyazaki. Yep. And Japan. Japan. Animes. J Rock, K pop. That's not K-pop. Japan. All the Asian yep. things. That's not yep. Japan. Yeah. Korean dramas. Yep. We're going all like Eastern on everybody right now. No, no, no. No, sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. No. So, <laughs> no. That is Almost super racist. Not going to get me. Not going <laughs> to get me. <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> Jojo. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We got Jojo like, in the house. That's Jamie's cat, by the way. You forgot to introduce Jojo. I, yeah, Jojo. I didn't know jo- Jojo was going to be part of the cast. Of course. Of course. Jojo's like, who did not buy me a headset? Why am I not on this podcast? It's your, favorite, it's your favorite cat podcast. Yep. <laughs> no one cat podcast on SoundCloud. I don't know. I've never heard any. On iTunes. Anyway, uh, so everyone watched this movie, correct? Oh, yeah. I watched it with... Yep. Eyes unclouded. Nice. That's a that's a good uh good term you just said there. I watched this movie like thirteen minutes before we started this podcast. That's actually a lie because the movie for, for the first time. Frankly, I think this movie's longer than thirteen minutes. Yeah, it's like two and it's, it's like, like two and fifteen. It's like three hours. Like yeah, it it's is. a solid. I so I went to see it recently. Well, I saw it like back in the nineties, but then. Saw it again with Luis and Saiyan, but we got in at like 7.30, I think. No, no, it was like 8.30. And then we walked out of there like 12, 12, like just after 12, like walking out. Was that like seven hours? Seven hours, maybe. And there's, and there's, cou- it's like one of those theaters that has like couches. Uh, there was a couple moments where I was just like, whoa, I could ease very easily fall into a, a slumber. <laughs> Was it that uh that theater that you took me to that we saw, we saw straight um, out of Compton? Straight out of Compton, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. New Parkway mm-hmm. Theater in Oakland. Shout out. Shout out. So Luis calls it the hipster theater. Yeah, I could see why he calls it that. He's like, look at this. All these hipsters. I was like, you mean you're, you? you're, you're standing here. <laughs> you're here, sitting here standing here. You got like a Boba Fett t-shirt on. For real. <laughs> Look at all oh. these hipsters, man. Just like yeah. adjust my flannel shirt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like long hair, flannel shirt. Look at uh-huh. all these hipsters. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think everybody who's like around 20 or 30 is a hipster now anyways. I'm not a hipster. You're a hipster, right. Shane. You're I'm not a hipster. A bl- no, no, a no, don't even say it. That's <laughs> no. racist as fuck. That's racist. <laughs> that's going to be like, a lot of that. <laughs> that's like saying like, oh man, you're the whitest, you're the whitest black kid I know. <laughs> Like, no, it's not the same. Yeah, it, that's exactly the same. Uh-uh. Because the hipster's not, it's not, well, all right. <laughs> so the it's movie. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a term. I'm glad we've come to the hipster podcast. Already. Damn, we totally forgot about. Where we talk about. about all things hipster. Well, it was just a lot of hipsters are into Miyazaki movies, I guess. Because it was a small theater, but not only was... They're a, a Thursday show, and it started at like nine thirty. So it's kind of crazy, but it was sold out. There was a huge line, and not only that, but like online, everybody was like, "Oh, does anybody have extra tickets?" Like, there's, oh, I have two tickets for sale. It was like this huge, like, for real economic market for these like Princess Mononoke tickets that was happening. So it was just that just goes to show you that like people like Miyazaki. They like Miyazaki now. Now, mm-hmm. when he's no longer working. Well, he's he's come back though, right? He no. unretired. No, no, no. It took me a long time to like Miyazaki. He's only doing like the short films that they do for the museum, and that's it. 
So uh, what those, are these? What are these short films that they do for the museum? You were so like, you actually been to the museum? Yeah, I actually went to the museum, and so like I think every couple of months, like maybe every like three months, they have like a new like short movie that they show. I think it's like fifteen twenty minute movie. <laughs> Mm. So they'll like pick a theme and like make some kind of movie. Like when I went, it was about like these kids and this like giant whale, and it was obviously made for like five year olds. <laughs> Lucky for me, I understood everything because it was made for five year olds. Nice. <laughs> but it's, wow. cute. There's, it's a, there's no subtitles. No, there's no subtitles. Oh man. Sorry. Sorry. I'll learn that Japanese. Go to Japan, you do not get helped out. Yeah, at all. I mean, it is good to know multiple languages i haven't found it very useful yet but it's like shown in this like really cute theater and you all like sit on benches like little kids and there's a bunch of little kids in there wait do they are the little kids like part of the show like no, they just no. show up no, or no. Like, they went to the museum and they're watching yeah. the show and like oh, okay. this theater literally looks like something out of a miyazaki film like it's oh, all sick. painted with all these like craziness was that on snapchat i thought i saw that yeah it's probably on snapchat I have it somewhere saved that's the the it's not the miyazaki museum it's the studio it's the ghibli museum ghibli, Gib- ghibli museum ghibli yeah which is so, actually the name of an engine company or no yeah it was like a plane engine company from italy really yeah what? that's that's where they got the name from did you learn that there no i learned that online <laughs> <laughs> when you showed up like, at the museum you, you already knew stuff you're like oh yeah let me okay. tell you about this were you like trying to school like the Little person kids. who was giving the tour no there's, <laughs> you're like no think, you're in fact checking like no this is wrong i don't think there are tours they don't have tours they don't have tour tours guides. at a museum not at this one i mean it's not like i'm a sucker for tours it's it's not like like in america it's, it's very different it's kind of like crazy eclectic building and it has little exhibits of like animations from different series and then you go upstairs and it literally looks like somebody's like i guess like miyazaki's like workstation wow. with like paint everywhere and pencils and like this like giant like bin of used pencils <laughs> that are like i don't know maybe like half an inch tall and they just have this giant bin of them. What? And, was there, was and, there a, a, like a, an area that was kind of specifically for Princess Mononoke? Mm, I mean, they rotate stuff. So it's not like they have the same stuff all the time. I mean, they'll have like Totoro because that's like one of their, I guess. Mm, that's like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. They're like starting kind of film where they got their, their fame from, I feel. So they'll have, like, a lot of Totoro stuff and some, like... When I went, they had, like, some Kiki stuff and they had, like, some newer stuff. Some kinky stuff. stuff. Kiki. Kiki's delivery service. Yeah, yeah. Some kinky stuff. Kinky's delivery service. Nice. (laughs) I just had a a really good idea for, like, an app that delivers, like, leather stuff. (laughs) It's like like Uber, but... A BDSM app. Kinky delivery service. Yep. No kinkies. Oh, kinkies. kinkies, yeah. Wow, that's a good idea. I'm going to write that down. Anyway. So, yeah, I was watching this. And this was actually the first Miyazaki movie that I ever saw, I think. Princess Mononoke. Same here. Um, same. So, that, yeah, some people saw, like, Kiki, Kiki's Delivery Service first. Dude, um, y'all are, like... Late? <laughs> y'all are late. <laughs> I mean, this is it's 1997. So dude, it wasn't... <laughs> dude. I watched Totoro in like 1993. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, yo, that's, that's what, yeah. like such a hipster thing to say. <laughs> no, but no. <laughs> what? But she, yo, that's the truth though. She did. <laughs> I was a little kid. Real, real talk. And she went to the real museum, hipster. so. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's got that First, on all. First, like, though. animes I watched was like Totoro, Ranma One Half. <laughs> yeah. Which is like totally opposite the end of the spectrum that's when wait that guy he like turns into a girl yeah like, switches yeah yeah and there's like nudity shit. and all kinds yeah. of craziness I, oh my I, god i remember watching i was like oh my god i can't see, let my mom see this <laughs> it was naughty my mom saw it <laughs> dude they're like boobs i was like oh shit i felt so awkward <laughs> i know <laughs> Um, I don't think my I, mom knew. I watched it and I read like the manga. It was like one of the first mangas that I ever picked up. 
I remember. Yeah, that was the first manga I ever picked up. I remember oh, from... Oh, and Sailor Moon. It was like Ramon Half, Totoro, and Sailor Moon. Yeah. Were my, were my like... Early, early... Pop cherry anime. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Fighting me, Evil by Moonlight? Well, I saw... I, I watched animes before um, Princess Mononoke. That was just like my first Miyazaki one that I saw. Yeah. My first anime was Speed Racer. Oh, really? Um, yeah. That's everybody's. <laughs> yeah, but the thing with Speed Racer is nobody knew it was like an anime from Japan. Everybody thought it was American. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what <laughs> like, I thought. I was like, I don't remember thinking anything. I just This was just a cartoon. Just watch That's what show. I thought when like I first watched Totoro. I thought it was an American cartoon. And I was like, wow, this is like completely different from all of the American yeah. cartoons that I've seen before that. Wow. But then I found out later. I was like, nah, that's not American. Nope. I was like, ah, oh, that makes sense. There's a lot of shows that were around that time that you had a lot of Japanese like production teams, you know, like G.I. Joe, um, Transformers. Transformers, Thundercats, Silvercats, I mean, Silverhawks. Silver wait, Cats. those were, wait, they did the, <laughs> yeah, like, they did those in Japan? Well, the animation. The uh, Thundercats, like the, yeah. Like the in-betweens? Yeah. Well, pretty much the they, whole like, show. They like dubbed all those shows to sound like American cartoons. Uh, American ideas, but Japanese or I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna say Japanese animation, Japan animation. Damn, remember when that Obviously was sick? Was better. <laughs> Everyone Dude, used to that say store that store sucked. What? What? Japan animation? I don't know. I'm. I never heard. You never went to that store? No. Oh my god. In my, oh, I like, went to that. I went to that store in my mall, like in Coral Springs, <laughs> in the middle no, of fucking nowhere. Mall. They had this. It wasn't Suncoast. No, they there had a also store. It was called Japan or like Animation or something like that, and it had no, like I think you're right. DBZ and Sailor Moon and yeah. And, no way. I remember and, that. I and remember some it. other things, and it was it had like some crazy action figures in there in the back, and it was like the only store that sold like anime Squ- stuff. Yeah, they had like those like scrolls. That you can yeah, like, those and like the wall shirts like and the, the, wall and the DBC shirts, those like long ass like the button up, like the yeah, the, button like up Hawaiian shirts. like Magnum yeah, PI those, shirts. Not, oh, they're not Hawaiian. They're Magnum PI shirts, man. <laughs> no, I, I mean the style, like they're like you could say like almost Cubans wear those. Like, yeah, that's what I said. Shirt, like the, the Magnum button PI up, like, shirts, short, short sleeves, button up like, collars. Yep, Cuban shirts. Oh no, aren't they called um? Bahama shirts or something? Yeah. Bahama mom. Yeah. Bahama. But these shirts were longer than the Bahama shirts. These shirts were fucking long. Long tees. <laughs> but yeah. They were like, but, and they, they were had like, like Goku like doing Super Saiyan on the front. Like, yeah. On, there was a wrap around it. They wrapped yeah, the whole Yeah, it was a wrap around. Uh, wrap around the whole shirt. I have one and I wear it as a dress. What? <laughs> Do you accessorize it with like a Do belt? Do you accessorize it? Hell yeah. <laughs> I put on my platform shoes. Oh, oh man. Damn. Is that what they wear in Japan? <laughs> No. Dude, that is totally what they wear in Japan. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> you have no idea. Like the weirdest shit that you could possibly imagine that you would never wear in public in America, they wear that over there, like on a daily basis. Like bu- bubble wrap. <laughs> bubble wrap shirt. I think Missy Elliott yeah, did like, that first. Just so. like crazy yeah. ass shit. Just like stuff that you would feel embarrassed to wear here. They're like, oh yeah, cat ears and a fucking tail and like some some like. Two oh, left shoes. And like <laughs> Jamie some... wears those, those cat ear headphones. I'm wearing nah. right now. <laughs> oh, I'm talking sick. about like cat ears, like clip on cat ears. I have those too. On right now? But like, yeah, but you don't go to work in those. <laughs> I have gone to work in Uh-oh. those. <laughs> well, that's because you're in the back. They keep you in the back. <laughs> People don't see in you. The basement. <laughs> yeah, Jamie with the cat ears and the purple hair keep her in the back. Keep her in the back. We don't know. We don't want customers to see this shit. Um, I think that's true, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's where they keep the weeaboos. Just put know. the weeaboos in the too back. Much. It's too um, much. But anyway. So did you go to like the Shibuya district? Dude, I went everywhere. Everywhere. Well, did you? Like, whoa! Did you touch Mount Fuji? No, I did not. Go oh, to you Mount didn't go Fuji. everywhere then. That's a that's a that's a bit of a train ride. Yeah, Mount Fuji is like out there. It's not it's out close there. by. People like have this weird perception that like Mount Fuji is like right next to Tokyo Tower. No, nah. like nah, nah, that's not how it works. <laughs> it's like an hour away from Tokyo. So, so for our for our listeners in Florida, like Mount Fuji is like Weston compared to like Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like way further than that. It's like West Palm Beach to like West Miami. Palm Beach. 
Right. Or is it like Orla- yeah. like Orlando? I don't, I've all like so. Oh, <laughs> I've only um, I only went there like via bullet train, so I don't know like how fast, how far it <laughs> is. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know how like, fast it is. Far. Like car, like, like cars are like I don't know how fast like cars are. Like if I I never I didn't drive there from Tokyo, so I don't know. Like it's, it's hard like, to gauge. It's like a day trip. Yeah, it's like you're gonna spend a whole day just going to Mount Fuji. <laughs> so, Kat, you you went to Japan recently. I did. Uh, I lived there for mo for a moment, but not recently, like twenty years ago. Damn. You live there in like the peak of like weirdness. Peak Japan. I wouldn't like say before, that before before it got like infested with Americans. So it was weird because we we're I was just watching a uh, Tokyo Tribe, Tokyo Tribes. Or tribe. tribe? No, it's tribe. 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 I haven't seen that on on Netflix. Oh, it's and, on Netflix. Um, it's on Netflix. Uh-huh. It is a a hip hop musical slash. It's directed by the dude who did um, what's him call it? Um, I have his name. Suicide right Club. Sion really? Sono. Yeah, it's the directed by the same guy who made Suicide Club. It has one star, but like <laughs> one star. I. I it's would a give joke. It two and a half. It's a joke. Nobody gets it. <laughs> uh, it's good. I people, it's good. people just like. I feel like the people who like rate it one star are the people who are like, "Why isn't this a serious movie?" I'm like, "Cause it's a fucking joke." Well, our, the well, very first tell. podcast that we did was about Yakuza Apocalypse, which oh, I can yeah. see a lot of people rating that one star. I mean, I don't think Louise really cared for it. I don't think that Jake really cared for it, but I was all about it. And, I really like Tokyo Tribe. In Tokyo, I really like Tokyo Tribe too. I need to watch this movie now. Yeah, that dude has a cool name, Sion Sono. S S. Sion like the car. Uh, it's like S I O N. Like the car that's like going out of business. Well, no, it's already gone. <laughs> Good. I don't know. When I was <laughs> driving back from the airport the other week, I saw a Sion dealership. Well, I mean, it's. It's not like they're going to just like, okay, we, we're done with all these cars here. <laughs> you know, we still have these cars. So they're still selling them. Well, yeah, they're but slow, the brand they're, is they're, done. They're, they're no longer badging the Toyota yeah. cars on their Scion brand. So, so like, so are they still going to sell the FRS? Uh, yes, the FRS possibly will continue until the end of this year. This shouldn't be a 2007 FRS. Or you can just buy a BRZ. You don't want to make that mistake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the same Asubi. car, but... Subi, Subi. It's not the same car. It looks better. It's, it's the same car. The only difference on the BRZ and the and the uh, FRS is the front bumper. That's really it. The BRZ No, the prettier. interiors are different. That, that's, that is... I'm telling you. That is the only yeah. thing that's different. The, the bumpers are different. Girl, same car. The girls on your cars. All right, Shane. Same car. <laughs> Same. Yeah, but also it's a Subaru, so it's better. <laughs> wow. Jamie's the, tooting the Subaru the, horn yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, trusted by many soccer moms. Toot, toot. Yep. <laughs> but is this, is this like a premonition for Jamie turning into soccer mom? Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, pack the kids up. The kids yeah. first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she's got kids. Yeah, they she's have, got they JoJo. Have, they have, she's like, got well, JoJo. I mean, they have Outback. The WRX style. has four doors, so see. But they usually have like Outbacks, and then your husband's gonna buy a BRZ. Nice. No, I'm gonna drive the BRZ. <laughs> Damn, that's what you should have gotten. He's gonna be a soccer dad. First gender roles. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Stay home dads. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that's what you think. Hanging out with your kids all day long, picking mm-hmm. them up, making them sandwiches or whatever. Mm-hmm. Coming home, cleaning up, whatever. That's like the movie version of having a child. The actual version <laughs> of having a child is all is... that, and you're just cleaning shit. That's it. <laughs> no, we're you're not shit. just cleaning shit. You are like rocking this thing until it falls asleep. You are praying to God that this thing falls asleep. <laughs> this you're thing. trying to feed this thing, and it's like not having it with you. <laughs> like did cat have a baby <laughs> no does. no i did not have a baby i had a little sister at 12 years old and she was a monster she Kids would come into my room and literally grab my manga and like chew on it so i'd come home and there'd be soggy ass manga just only the mangas everything else was dry no for real like she she knew what she was doing Uh-oh. 
Did she, she did she like, chew it from the left to the right or from the right to the left? <laughs> no, nah, she just chewed on the corner. She chewed everything. She would chew everything. Speaking, that's actually very funny. Isn't like your your sister like heavily into like Japanese culture? Oh now she is. Maybe that's where she got from. All that what, manga chewing flavor. Chewing on my manga, all of a sudden she just like she has a <laughs> taste. the manga into her into yeah. her body. She has a taste for Japanese culture, literally. Yeah. I, wish I, had a ja- I think Jamie ate some too. <laughs> no, you don't. This dude uh, has made some pretty. I like the names of his movies: The Virgin Psychics, 2015. If you're psychic, you'll probably stay a virgin because you know it's going to happen later. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, not doing that. Not this guy. Not nope, this guy. No, nope, you're bad. That would come in handy. Really? Be- being psychic. Yeah, being psychic. <laughs> What if you're Maybe. only psychic about your virginity? Well, then that's good. <laughs> that's the only thing you have psychic powers against. You get, like, visions of, like, having sex. But at least then you know who it's going to be with. All right. We've, we've spun into weird territory. Naturally. Where do we go from here? I don't know. Uh, we can bring it back to Miyazaki. Yeah. Let's bring it back. So, so the actual movie, guys. So, I mean... One, hated it. You, no, I'm just <laughs> I for one love it. Uh, I mean, granted, only I've only seen two of his movies. Um, this what? Yeah, wait, yeah, hold on. I know. Wait, I know. Stop. I stop, know. stop! 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 What? Yo. Hey, spoiler you see, alert! So you've seen? Wait, so you've seen Princess Mononoke? And I, right I'm now. guessing like Spirited Away. Uh, wait, Spirited. No. Wait, Spirited oh, Away is which one? Nah, he watched fucking Howl's Moving Castle. They showed that at school. Well, I think I might have watched. Wait, Spirit Away, what happens in that? It's about the bathhouse. No, I didn't see that one. No, no you watched Howl's Moving yeah, Castle. I watched yeah, Howl's you watched Howl's, Howl's, Howl's Moving Castle. Castle. Yeah, and okay. like, you never, what about, you've never seen Ponyo? Uh, no. I've always seen, even like. Saying, even saying I've seen Ponyo. Yeah. You you guys watch movies a lot. We do. You know? That is true. Um, so. I, for one, really love this story a lot. Um, it's, a, it's an environmentalist story. Yeah. Why, why don't you explain for people who don't know what the story is of this movie? I mean, we don't really have to get no, into that. we don't like have to get into that deep. Everybody, see, every, everybody. If you haven't seen it, you're going to go yeah. see it. I mean, it's uh, boy meets girl, girl meets boy. Nah, they save the world. No, it's not even like that. It's, <laughs> it is, it's, to me, it was the 2016 presidential election in a movie form. Uh, I see had, what you're like, saying. Made in like 1997. So had, maybe it was a virgin psychic. So you don't know. <laughs> oh. So you had Lady Oboshi, who's clearly Hillary Clinton, right? No, oh, Jesus. Because no, she's good, right? She's a p- pretty decent person, but she's in the in the pocket of the you know the industrial complex, right? So she wants to make weapons, and just like Hillary Clinton is all about you know the. You know, the industrial the, the, complex yeah the, the war machine right like just creating you know weapons and and fighting wars overseas but she's yeah. a good but she's pretty decent she's a pretty decent person still you know i don't and know then if you she's have a decent the, person recent events not quite very decent you have the the samurai who are the republicans right they're just goons right they just go around mobbing and and just creating havoc right Great mobbing yeah and then you have um Princess I don't think Mononoke. they're necessarily I don't really samurai. Know who Princess... I think they're like more mercenaries. Well, they're just like thugs. They're samurai yeah, thugs. Yeah, they're just like, no, no, they're not samurai, No, no, dude. no, no, no. They're samurai thugs. That's what they were called. They were under orders from the emperor. So we, we can we can try to figure out who that is in this analogy. But um, I'm not sure who Princess Mononoke was. I'm maybe somebody that's down for the environment. Elizabeth Warren. All right. Okay. I'm continue. Oh, there's really two more p- candidates that I want to see. Who are you gonna pinpoint? Um, I don't know who the elk is. The red elk. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That's Killer Mike. <laughs> <laughs> That's Killer Mike. <laughs> he, he was there for the animals. He was the in between. Oh man. Yeah. He was. Uh, he, I don't. Well, I think really what we have to do is figure out how to give the forest spirit back its head. Yo, yeah. but <laughs> how are we gonna do that? <laughs> it, it, what do we have, what do we have to do to reverse? You know what's going on with our planet? Reverse all the stupid shit that's happening. Well, I mean, it's really easy in the movie, but it's in real life, it's much harder. You know, one thing that you did bring up, how you really said that. I as I was watching the movie, it's like even though like when they saw that this thing is a god, 
and it stood before them and they still try to kill it and they you know achieve this thing yeah. it's not until like afterwards like after afterwards when the shit was trying to kill them that they realized like oh my god my mistake this is my bad until the at loose last moment where like yeah they gave so that's what's gonna have to happen like the you know the worst the, has to the, happen basically like miami's gonna have to go underwater yeah no nah, i think well, nah, that's not it <laughs> no it's still gonna you gotta happen. wait what more, so more, so more even after more like florida is like happen. florida is like atlantis florida is like underwater new york's starting to get underwater like california is like just detached a minefield of like earthquakes and like it's a little dry out here yeah drought <laughs> you know <laughs> but i mean it's it really is a very powerful movie on that aspect that you brought up one thing though of course that i really love about all of his movies is the stand out on on female roles. you've only seen two of them hey, i've, <laughs> Yo, I've only seen He's two like, of them i'm a fucking expert i've seen two movies only like, two one thing movies. that i really two like about all of his movies out of his whole career <laughs> yeah but and i haven't even read anything about him you know what i i haven't watched the movies but i've read people talk about him and <laughs> oh my God. they all say pretty much the same thing that he has is, very strong female characters mm. and okay they're not your basic run-of-the-mill characters you know miyazaki passes the bechamel test you know he doesn't sexualize them you know it's like if you want to say if you want to like to which is actually kind of like i mean a lot of japanese manga and like movies the the women are highly sexualized right yeah for the most well, part. Well, if you think about Japan, Japan's still an incredibly sexist country. Like, mm-hmm. to this day, Japan is incredibly, like, backward in terms of where it stands in the world. Like, the mm-hmm. way they treat female employees, the, like, job market for females, you know, there's, like, a high demand for females to stay home and raise children and be housewives, and that's, like, been the norm for, like, centuries. And, like, even to this day, it's still like that, yeah. and now there's... There, this... Has there any been, like, a like a, a woman, like, prime minister in Japan? No. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? In America either, though. No, but, like, I think, like, in Amer- in Japan, it's, like, less than 5% of women have like high up titles like ceo mm, or managers yeah. there's like less than five percent of women they're all secretaries yeah pretty Did much you guys know that uh, the president in korea is a woman yeah but korea is also very south sexist. korea or north korea i'm just saying which well, one <laughs> which one what do you think i don't know you got <laughs> no, 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 let me know I like south korea obviously <laughs> sure uh, we should okay. fact check this Wait. yeah i don't think i need to <laughs> <laughs> Unless uh, what's his face is a woman, all of a sudden. Never know. Kim. Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong. I mean, he could be. Now it's no, sorry, that's his dad. Yeah, Il. That's his. Il was his dad. Oh, Il. Drinking henny Ew. and wearing sunglasses, dad. I suppose. Well, yeah. I, like watching like Tokyo Tribe, you know, obviously like that's kind of an exaggeration. Of, like that whole movie is kind of like a some kind of fever dream. But like a lot, like it, there's a lot of nudity, a lot of like, there's, you know, a lot of like rape and that's bad. And uh, the women are like, you know, they're just kind of there to be set dressing. Props. Right. In that props. Exactly. I mean, there's even like liter- there's literally like furniture people in that movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yeah. And, yeah part, and, um, I feel like that was inspired by Clockwork Orange. I, yeah. I thought it was inspired by uh, Bruno. <laughs> Right, <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a scene there. in Bruno where where, where uh, like he's like with Paula Abdul. Oh, they, yeah, yeah. They, they invite Paula Abdul over, and there's like chair people. There's like no, yeah. They like sit down on them. Oh yeah, I remember, I remember that. that. She wouldn't sit down on people. I mean, what if she did? <laughs> also, um, when I was watching Tokyo Tribe, it seems a lot like maybe like the Japanese version of the Warriors to me. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. but with rap wait it was well the, like the so yeah the fact that there's like different gangs it mm-hmm. yeah that there's like and they and spoiler alert they come together <laughs> nice first time on the show and you're ready using our famous tagline <laughs> wait what is spoiler alert yeah 
when you when we're spoiling <laughs> points. Good job, Jamie. You can tell you're obviously a listener. Okay. We definitely invented spoiler alert. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Heard it first. Well, my husband likes to spoiler alert every episode of One Piece by reading the comics and then trying to tell us all what happens. Oh, he's one of those people. <laughs> he's like, no, you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta know. He's like, he's like those Game of Thrones people. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Can't do that anymore, though, for Game of Thrones. Are they going off the books? Yeah, because there, there's no books now yeah. for the season that's coming out. T- a Tokyo Tribe reminded me a lot of, like, Escape from New York, kind of, like uh, John Carpenter's. Um, there's a little bit of West Side Story to it, right? It's a, it is a musical. Mm-hmm. It's a rap musical, which is kind of weird that there's like being somebody that listens to a lot of rap and grew up listening to rap. It's like, what do you guys? Is it like Japanese what rap? Are you guys or is doing it like here? American <laughs> yeah. rap? It's Japanese I mean, it's rap. Japanese. Okay. That was a problem that some people were having when I was reading reviews online. They were like, "Oh, they got all these people that can't even rap." Well, but um, rap is I feel, different. I feel like that's Japan. very uh, racist. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can't rap i mean they some of them rap. clearly some of them clearly couldn't though i mean because not everybody in the movie were rappers they were like like erica was yeah, i like, think erica was one of the, the main the main girl i think that was her name um she's yeah, like she, clearly not a rapper and you know she was meant to like rap some songs so it, it's it's you know but then some of them were rappers like actual like rappers from japan uh and they were like much better i actually had like when I was like watching it, I was like kind of rating like which ones were the best MCs of all. The- <laughs> all the I was like rating like the rapping ability of like each the act- each of the actors. Nice. Well, Some were nicer. Some were nicer <laughs> than others. The beatboxing girl, though. I mean, the, the 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 DJ grandma was clearly the best character. What? Yeah. Granny's got down on the ones and twos. Well, she's keeping that old school funk going, I assume. Yeah, she was like the the cool herc of Japan. I'm trying to remember his name, but the the big guy with the blonde hair. Oh, Mara. That actor is going to be, I don't know if you guys have ever watched uh, My Love Story. Is that, but it's is like, that the one with the, the guy that's really huge, but he has like yeah. a super tiny girlfriend and like yeah. he loves her to death. Mm-hmm. Nice. So that guy is going to play that character in the live action version mm-hmm. of that. Nice. Awesome. He was good. He was good. He's a, like a very in shape dude. Spent, yeah, he spent most like, of the, spent most of the movie without without any clothes on or shirt. He's like oddly attractive in a weird way. Whoa! What do you mean? Why? Why in a weird way? Yeah. <laughs> Explain this. I don't know this guy, but I need to know why is he this way. Well, I mean, watch the movie, and then his character was me. attractive, even though he was no, kind not, of a, a sociopath. I'm not, not his character. <laughs> His body? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't what, know. What? Just like something about him. Something about him. Something about him. Something uh, about him. Yeah, I mean, he's he's he was he was a handsome guy. I would say. For me, like I watched like a movie called um, Shark Skin Shark Skin Man and Peach Hip Girl. Yep, I've seen that. Th- you seen that? Yeah. I think I've, I've, I've like I've like forced everybody yeah, I know to watch. Yeah, it. I think <laughs> I've seen that like at the treehouse, sitting on the couch. Yeah, I was like, oh, you guys gotta watch this. this is crazy. But it it kind of reminded me of that because there was just a, a lot of like really like crazy characters. Yeah, it was with Asano. He always plays the crazy dudes. Who's this guy? Asano. Asano played um not Ichi, but that other dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Ichi the killer. The the guy with us with the scars across his face. Yeah. Nice. He's in a bunch of like crazy shows. Oh man, he was in Lupin the Third. Was that good? I don't know. I didn't watch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that says that a just lot. came out, right? Uh, in 2014, so like two yeah. years ago. Oh, uh, dude, he's in Red Line. I guess he like As a voices voice somebody. Mm. I didn't know that. Oh, mm-hmm. he's in Survive Style Five. If you haven't watched Survive Style Five. I suggest you watch it. What is it about? Well, like all, all like most of those movies were were directed by uh, Ryuhi Kitamura, who did Versus and uh, Az- Azumi, which is kind of like a samurai. Yeah, yeah, but movie. that's kind of like that's the one with the girl. Mm-hmm. Dio put that on a lot, didn't he? It's kind of like it's very like mainstream kind of Japanese movie. Yeah, it's super mainstream. Like Survive Style Five is like one of those like weird ass kind of like weird movies that isn't particularly like popular mm, and well, like tokyo zombie is another one it's kind of like just weird even if it's like underground oh, or an like, electric dragon eighty thousand volts that shit's weird <laughs> what 
if it's like we weird or like popular, they're still like all like tokusatsu type movies, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know who that guy is. Tokusatsu is uh, it is like special effects. Is, is he is he more like practical or is he? Well, it, it's not a it's not a person. Oh, it's, it's like, like a style. A style. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I learned something today. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Welcome. Wait, he's in Kiki's delivery service? Uh oh, come call what? back. Uh, I didn't know there was a Kiki's delivery service live action uh-oh. movie. <laughs> you sure it's not Kinky's? <laughs> no, it's not That's Kinky. The, the porn version porn of it. Version. Yeah. <laughs> I'd watch it. It's a movie. Miyazaki had nothing to do with that. Unless he had. It's Miyazaki's live action movie, apparently, that was made in 2014 that I never watched. What? And you and I, call yourself a fan? Dude, that's not his movie. It's like mm-hmm. somebody taking his story. Well, it's not even his story. Like he took it from a book. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's based off a book. You know, I'm thinking about it. I think I've only seen like four Miyazaki movies. <laughs> oh my god, Jojo. Jojo's like not <laughs> having it. He's so mad at me. He's like, no. Super. You pissed. know, he looks like the cat from Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, that's why you got him. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm not like one of those Miyazaki fangirls. Hey. Yeah. Like it. I don't know. Um, when I first saw <laughs> Princess Mononoke. Yeah. <laughs> when I first saw it, I was 17, and um, I liked it a lot better when I watched it recently for this podcast. But back then, it was like. Um, I didn't like the way that Miyazaki movies were drawn. Oh, really? And I, like, I fell asleep when I watched um, Kiki's Delivery Service. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, I'm like, the only um, fan girl I here. I think. <laughs> I think that Miyazaki's work is like beautiful and creative and like super impressive, but I wouldn't say that any of his movies are in my top five. Damn. Mm-hmm. Really? No. Oh my god. But he's great. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Well, you're I mean speaking of like tokusatsu. Um you you you've always been more into like Godzilla anyways, right? Yeah, and like sci-fi stuff, like Ghost in the Shell okay. and Akira and like I was more on that spectrum. I'm not really like a slice of life kind of person. We definitely have to watch uh Godzilla Final Wars. When does that come out? That's it has been out. It is? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, okay. I thought it was like a new. I'm talking about the new movie that's supposed to come out. Is it that? Because you know there's a new Godzilla movie that's coming out. Yeah. That's, it's, yeah it's, and, it's American, though. No, it's not. No, no, yeah. not, the, not the American one. There's oh, one. the one that's made by, uh, what's his face? Hideaki Anno. Yeah, the yeah. dude who directed, well, made Evan Gillian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah. I mean, that's like my two worlds colliding Uh-oh. so i'm ready Uh-oh. i'm so i ready. think she's more on the crazy psychopathic side <laughs> of anime where the kids are like super disturbed with themselves <laughs> well no because i also really 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 love ranma like that yeah. was one of my first two and sailor moon too but i feel like ranma falls into more of the like mainstream it was anime. Huge. i remember it being like massive when i lived in japan like this was in the early 90s oh yeah that's like the, it's still really big to this day. I mean, Ranma one half, well, like, what is it? One like, Piece, <laughs> Dragon Ball. No, 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 like, uh, what's her faces? Like, for her, Rumoki. Rumiko Takahashi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For her stuff, like, her big stuff. I feel like it was all her, like, early stuff. Her, like, newest thing. <sighs> I forget what it's is called. It, uh, Rin. Is Rin, it yeah, 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 yeah. Like... It's so boring. <laughs> yeah, I don't Dude, know. Cause like, it's so weird because, like, I watched the anime or I started to watch the anime and it was, like, the girl and the guy has the exact same personality. They're all, like, kind of monotone. <laughs> like, everybody's just, like, kind of just mellow. Like, it's weird. It's just not interesting. They're both kind of like, oh, okay. Okay. Like, compared yeah, to, know. like, Inuyasha or Ranma One Half or Lum or any of her other works like Rin is so boring mm-hmm. what about Pokemon? Only... Pokemon is that anybody's top five no <laughs> no okay sorry what, Just did, you hear my, did you hear my cell phone go off 
No. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-huh. We, we can't hear <laughs> that. Is it dead? Is it Pokemon related? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it when it went off, it showed up like on the the thing. I don't know what to call this thing. Where you see the sound? The computer. Maybe no. it picked it up. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I know the what a computer docity. is. Oh, uh, okay. A co- wait, are computers from Japan? Most of them, right? No, my computers no? are made okay. from America. Uh, I think oh. computers are made everywhere. Yeah, but yeah. they originated in America. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did. Do you I think they make yeah. computers in Antarctica? Well, like, that's like, when, so when I lived in Japan, that was like the thing that was the most in my face. Like, when, as computers? soon as I like, left, I, I left the house, like, like, electronics were just like, I was bombarded with like every shop that I walked past, like every window display, like every billboard was just like VHS. Now you this. think it was bad, not that, and you should see it now. Holy shit! Yeah, like literally, like walking in Shibuya, like it's not only that there's like giant TV screens everywhere, and it's like bright as hell. Like for example, like if you've ever been to Times Square, that yeah. like bright light, like insanity that no new yorker would ever go to no self-respecting new yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) like in japan it's like you got all of these crazy like flashing something or another but on top of that you have sound so it's actually playing the commercial or it's playing the like music i get it yeah and like you walk around and you like literally I would just walk around and like I'd hear like some opening from some anime <laughs> like or like this commercial about like drinking coffee in that mm, like you Japanese know coffee. Japanese style of commercials where they have that like super serious like low pitched voice dude. <laughs> so like everything has a noise. Everything has a noise. Like you walk into the like store, there's a noise. You walk out of the store, there's a different noise. Dude, you pick up something, noise. there's a noise. It reminds me of like when I worked at an arcade, and just went home, and I just kept hearing the noises. <laughs> Even after, like when you were, going- yeah, yeah. you're like a DDR machine. <laughs> nice. That's that's it's the like only place where arcades brain. are still going strong. Is in Japan. Oh, I, le- I, I spent so much time in arcades. Um, there's so over like there. there's literally like I don't know maybe like. 50 of these in Tokyo alone and it's mm-hmm. like nine stories of arcade stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they, there's like, what are those like? Um, Pachinko? What, what was that game? Pachinko Parlors? Oh yeah. Like, oh my those God. Those are like crazy. Like, everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere there's like, and they're all like anime themed. At least yeah. they are now. Like when I was there it was like Evan Gillian. Ooh. Um, Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Evan Gillian. Yeah, um, you, so you're spoiling Jamie's like trip to Japan when she's. Lupin coming. the yeah. Third was really popular, and then they'd have like some older like um, uh, what's that anime with like, not Ronin Warriors, but the other one. Voltron. No, they were like these. They're like based off like the constellations, and there was Gund- like Gundam. No, there's these dudes, Kamen but they Rider. have like no, <laughs> no, no. Sailor Moon. Yes, constellations. <laughs> no, they, it was dudes. It was a bunch of dudes, and like if you've it's ever seen dudes. Ronin Warriors, they had like similar kind of outfits no, on, and they're based about. on constellations. They all have like they all have like white pants, right? Yeah, yeah. they all look super pretty. <laughs> they all got like long flowing oh, uh, hair. Is it Saint Seiya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had like Saint Seiya all over the place. They had some Sailor Moon stuff, but not really for Pachinko. Cause I feel like Sailor Moon's more of like a, like a I guess a role model that's supposed to be for like little kids. Little kids, you know, it's She's not like it's not, parti- it's not particularly like adult themed, so they don't want to like stick that on some pachinko stuff. Yeah, which is gambling. Yeah, <laughs> it is like a weird way of gambling in Japan because gambling's illegal, but like the way they have it is like you have yeah, to like. But- it's like a in weird Japan, everything roundabout can be cute, things. even if it's for an adult. It's like Pachinko is like their fantasy football. Yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's like like it's like illegal. It's like gambling, but not really. Yeah, it's like weird because it's like you just get when you like win, you get these like metal balls, right? Metal balls in your hand. So like when you like cash them in, you only get like tickets, but in order to get money, you get it from like a different place, and that's how the way they get around the law. Of loop like holes. no yeah, there's like a giant loophole. So it's like instead of they give you the money right then and there, you gotta yeah. take this these balls, as you said. Which no, no, no. You use use like you know you you cash in the balls and they give you like a ticket. 
like you don't get money you just get like a ticket or you get like a prize you know okay but then there's like another store that you go into and you can cash the ticket to get money mm. so it's like this weird loophole i remember being like like amazed when i walked into an arcade and uh, so it was like a long row of street fighter machines but that game. all everybody was sitting down like on seats on chairs <laughs> like like the, <laughs> like the like the like the arcades are lower like how oh, can yeah. you be so relaxed yeah, they're like lower. They're not like you're not stand up arcades. They're all like sit down arcades. Not anymore. Oh yeah, that was back yeah, in the day. Not, not anymore. Now they're all like now they've got all these like crazy like dance, dancing mm. type so things. Wait, dancing arcade machines? So like you're yeah, you're sitting they down there like, playing Street Fighter and like the arcade thing is like dancing for you and like you're getting a massage <laughs> no, at the same time. No, it's a mach- no. no. That's next year. <laughs> It's a it's a game that they have where you basically like I guess it tracks your dance, movement. Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, DDR. No, it's not. Jamie's DDR. really good at that. I've seen her play. There are DDR machines, really but this particular game is not DDR. It's like you're literally like dancing and waving your hands around. Nice. Okay. You're mimicking whatever that character has on the screen. Uh, the question like, is, you have do to you dance play it? And like, did I play it? No. I didn't play any arcade games. Were you scared? Oh my god, Cat, what? Like, what do you... Yeah, because my sister was a butt. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. My sister was a killjoy. Okay, Aww. so I take back what I said about having a Yeah, sister. you don't want a sister, especially when she's young and she's like, I just want to do what I want to do. <laughs> All right, well. That's when you declare dominance. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's when you're like, you go do that, I'm just going to do whatever I want. <laughs> Jamie with the dominance. Yeah. She, Hold yeah. her neck down. Listen, we're going here. Playing That's what JoJo games. would do. Yep. <laughs> All my sister wanted to do is like go buy anime stuff. And I'm like... But she could do that online. Yeah, I know. I'm like... I, my sister's really weird for like her age. She's like... When we were like kids or whatever, like we knew how to like download songs and like find like anime online and it would take mm-hmm. like a... A fucking year to download the thing yeah i leave it overnight she doesn't know how to download music offline she doesn't know even how to like put music on her iphone Whoa. damn like i, hope she's I went not to suncoast for my anime she's like super like i don't know she's like like anime fans like in the 90s who like only bought anime from whatever that store was what is that store sunco Suncoast, yeah. Carlos just said that. Yeah, like that was your only like outlet. That was the only way you're gonna get anything. You like actually bought the stuff, <laughs> which I was like, that's so weird. I mean, I don't know. Like, do you remember though when we had to do that and we had to choose if we were gonna have English or if we were gonna buy a fan sub, which should have been free, dude. Wait, fan sub should be free. Yeah, because it's just something someone made. Yeah, but that's and then they sell it on like buys. a bootleg really? VHS tape. Nah, I didn't like, have that. I didn't have that. Oh, we had that. <laughs> when I was growing up, like, I had a friend, and she'd go to China every summer to, like, Yo, go visit her family. I had that connect, that Chinese Dude, connection. For real. <laughs> for real. Like, she would literally go to China, and I'd, like, make her a list of all of the shit I wanted to watch, and she'd come home with, like, a suitcase oh, full of DVDs. The question is... With some really terrible subtitles. The real question is, are you still friends with this girl to this day? Oh, yeah. Oh, my are God. Are you still getting I your remember. shit that way? No, dude. <laughs> There's it don't work like that anymore. <laughs> the supply dude, line like, is still open. Like, I remember after high school, like, after we graduated... I went to go see her, and, like, I'm sitting in her house, and she's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these goddamn DVDs. Damn. <laughs> she had so much anime. Swap shop. Wait, DVDs? Yeah, they were I fucking you DVDs. you VHS tapes. No, 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 they were DVDs. Whoa. <laughs> Listen. I Cats had, like, Connect VHS. is straight up DVDs only. They were DVDs. I didn't have any VHS tapes. Like, VHS tapes, I had, I had like, a few VHS tapes of, like, Rama One Half and, like, maybe some Sailor Moon. And that was it. Like, that was all of the VHS tapes I could find. <laughs> I used to record the Saturday anime on oh my um, God. sci-fi. And, like, I pause recorded, the commercials. I recorded the, the Dragon Ball... No, not Dragon Ball. The Gundam Wing, the movie. <laughs> I recorded that thing on VHS Oh, tape. and Samurai Pizza Cats, too. Recording on VHS... Yeah, yep. those are good days. And then you pause during commercials so that you don't tape the commercials. Oh, yeah. But now, like, 
I feel like if you did leave the commercials, it would have been better. Yeah, because you yeah, got to see you have all the 90s that commercials. craziness <laughs> that we watched. Like go, like go or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, the yo-yo. Yo-yo. like the crazy like yo-yo commercials ball. of like sweets or whatever, and these kids were just yeah. going insane. They were, so- <laughs> like, they were like on cookie drugs. Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> these kids were a, like, high. we want cookie crisp. <laughs> there was cookies and cream Nesquik, and there was this really stupid commercial for it. But I would drink it like every morning when I watched Sailor Moon, and they don't make it anymore. And I'm just like. Would I still like it if it was still around? Because I really want to try it. You never know. Mm. It's just a I bunch just of remember star- never know. Uh, strawberry and Nesquik. That was oh, cool. That's, no, that's gross. gross. That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, girl, <laughs> Your childhood sucks. But that is yeah. Yeah. Gross. Sorry, girl. Yeah. Gross taste yeah. strawberry milk. I remember when that thing came out and like, I was like, okay, I'll try this. Mistake. Mistakes oh, were made. Oh, damn. <laughs> you know what else was good? Um, they made Reese's cups that had an Oreo cookie inside. Nuh-uh. No, yeah, liar! I don't believe so you. No way! Good. No way! Because no, so that was so. That That's would still be on market right now. <laughs> Look up maybe on the internet. Maybe they'll like have a picture. I, think just I, I made do that. that. I take Oreos because I'm a fucking. I'm a, you're I'm a you're fat. Ass. Well, I'll take. I'll take. I'll take yeah, I'll take Oreos <laughs> and I'll like just dip them in peanut butter. Yes. Yeah, nice. Well, it existed. Yeah, I think mm. you should. Write a letter to uh, Reese's change, and change that Nabisco arc. and tell them, listen, you guys need to do a merger, literally. Maybe they would do it. I think it's they the would. Same didn't company, um, isn't it? it's didn't Clear the same Pepsi company. come back for a little no, bit? No, that never came back. Clear Pepsi? Pepsi? It's all about Pepsi Max. Yeah. Clear <laughs> Pepsi, yeah, there was... Except for in Japan. Pepsi Crystal. <laughs> crystal yeah, Like crystal. crystal meth. Japan gets <laughs> all the crazy-ass, like, soft drink flavors. Yeah, they um, have, like, milk... Flavored Coca Cola or something. What? Mm, that they sounds have good. like green tea flavored Pepsi. <laughs> what kind? BLT? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon, lettuce, tomato, Pepsi. Mm. They do have really crazy Kit Kat flavors. BLT, Pepsi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting a little bit crazy. But I remember like, so in Japan, like the crazy, I was only like 12 years old, but. I could walk right up to a vending machine and buy like an ashi, like a large, like the giant use like panties? a bottle. What use panties? Not what oh, no. ashi oh. is. It's a it's a beer, right? Ashi. You mean asahi? Asahi. Not sake. It's a, asahi. It's a, asahi. Asahi is it asahi or Sapporo? Like what? It was like Sapporo ashi, like one of these beers, and I could get like a can of beer that was like as big as my arm. <laughs> Like, the, At 12 like the years most, old? Yeah. No, I could just put in, like, whatever, like, 100 yen or something. <laughs> and then, like... That's a dollar. American. Um, so. And just get, like, a giant beer. Like, a giant can of beer. Oh, yeah. Not that was anymore. crazy. That was crazy to me. Not anymore. No? And no. I did. They have, they have like, uh, now the vending machines card you. Nuh-uh, really? Yeah, they do. You guys... Oh, like, the new ones? The new ones totally card you. What? Nice. Especially for like cigarettes. They do like a retinal, like a retinal scan. <laughs> no, no, no. You have like you have like this card. Like if you smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol, you gotta get this card. It's really yeah. weird. What was crazy is like oh, in America cool. at the same time you could buy cigarettes in a vending machine. Like they had those like short oh, yeah, yeah, vending yeah, yeah, machines, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the short long ones where, where you like you pull oh, like, you, like, you pull a lever and like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like and so there was like that going on in america at that time yeah do they still do they still sell condoms like that too condoms are a little bit machines? the machine is a little bit different right it's like in the bathroom and it's on the wall yeah but it's like the same kind of machine i think where you Wait, put the quarter and then you pull in it. america yeah. yeah i didn't know i think those are more like um machines? those are more like the um like when you go to a laundromat and you, you need like a detergent. Condom? You, you, <laughs> oh yes. you need a condom. You gotta you you know, do a clean laundry. laundry. You gotta keep yeah. it. We, you, everybody Six knows that like, hey, if you if you put in a load of laundry, you gotta pass the time somehow. You gotta be putting in a, a load, load of something else. Of laundry. <laughs> Maybe you meet somebody at the laundromat. That never happens. That happens in, in movies only. That happens yeah, to me I don't all think the that time. Happens. Shut up! But it's what, what it's dudes. Of, kind of dudes are hitting on me <laughs> all the time. Yeah, those dudes are like checking hey, the fuck yeah. out. Yeah, all the time. Every time I go to my laundromat that I go to, yeah, it's always like some dude that's like bears hitting me up, a- and I'm just like <laughs> half the times I'm like, okay, we're talking. All right, you're getting close. 
<laughs> and then it's like, wait, you're cornering me. Like, butt. wait, wait, are you are you attracted to me? And then they're like, they normally say something like, uh, you're not gay. I'm like, no. Oh, you're a cool guy then. I'm like, sure. <laughs> like, thanks. Sure. And then I'm they a, always I'm compliment a, me cool on my guy. face. They always say like, you're a very handsome guy. Just to let you know. I'm like, all right. You know. Humble brag. Exactly. <laughs> Shane, Shane's glory moment right yeah. here. Yeah. I get hit on by dudes all the time. Sick. Me too. Sick. Yep. Same. Is it the same for you, Jamie? Like you get like cornered. Like, you get like, cornered <laughs> in, the, in the laundromat. <laughs> cornered in like, like some hey, dark you alley. Straight? That's cool. You straight? That's cool. <laughs> Um, I would be terrified. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I mean, not like, I be like what the I'm not like, <laughs> like they corner me, like they put me in the corner. And I'm like, oh god, and there's no way out. It's just like they they get that yeah. closeness with you, you know, like you're. No, they, they start like thing. touching you. They do that thing that the guys do in the Korean dramas, where they like slam their hand on the wall, and yeah. they're like they're in front of you, and you're against the wall. And you're sweating. Yeah. And then you're like, oh my god! But you get, you get like, they don't know that you can like just dip under that like arm really easily. Yep. <laughs> you just like duck out of it. Like you're not yeah. going to because you're so mesmerized. <laughs> oh yeah. No, uh, sure. Mesmerized of all that BB cream. Yep, the BB <laughs> cream. But <sighs> hey, it, that happens. That goes down in the laundromat. So I can see why. That's good. I can see why they would have condoms in the laundromat. <laughs> mm. Not in my laundromat. No, but. Yeah, I don't Maybe, have condoms yeah. in my laundromat. That might be a, a Williamsburg thing. No, I, I haven't have used a laundromat in a really long time. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> I yeah. moved to New York or, I'm, or I'm California. You'd be using them all the time. Do they still have Mortal Kombat 1 machines? If the cool ones. Yeah, the cool laundromats the still have that. Yeah, the cool ones. That's You know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and search for a laundromat. That has video yeah. games. Laundry bar is you know, no you can longer do it. a it's thing. A, you can read a lot. Of, you can catch up on your manga. I don't want to read. That's I what I do. I That's what I do. I go games. there. I put. I put. No, I, I go. I put my clothes in, and then I sit down with a with a book. Get some. Uh, get some good reading. In. Some. Some right to left reading. I wish I could do that. Every time I'm in a laundromat, I set up to draw, and then it's like some person always comes up and starts chatting. Corners, me. corners you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's just like, oh, three bears. They they talk to me like, hey, oh, you're a very good artist. Blah blah blah. I'm an artist as well. Or and they just, just yeah. talk to me about their life, and I'm just like, okay, sure. Leather is like leather cap, like leather. <laughs> Car leather. <laughs> like, there's there's sometimes there's you should have known. You should have known already as well. Mm. But yeah, yeah. laundry. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, gotta keep maybe, it classy. Maybe maybe you, the, next time you could be like, well, I'm not interested in men, but if you guys want to play pickup basketball or something like that, yep. do, do something else. Yeah, like, you know, like touch football, flag touch football, flag football. football, rainbow rainbow flag football. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. Well, anything else? Me as a hockey? Would, would, okay. I mean, we, what, we, what else? I think we did it, dude. I think we. we this is it. We briefly is talked about like, you know, <laughs> Prince Monoke. Well, what about some uh, uh some of our favorite animes? We haven't really touched on those. We could do like a top five. Top five favorite that's animes. Hard. Ooh, that's that's good. <laughs> but like series or movie or both? Oh, subbed that's a good question. Are dubbed? <laughs> no. Uh, subbed, subbed, are, subbed are dubbed, guys. What do you guys think? Subbed. Subbed, subbed damn. What? Unanimously. You're a dub guy. I'm a dub guy. Yeah, obviously. But can I can I defend myself though? Okay. No. Damn. <laughs> the court there says. is no okay. defense for liking really poor I English. Mean, give me like twenty anime. seconds on like if your why. Your defense is that you don't want to pay attention while you watch it. No. <laughs> it's it is because I want to pay more attention while I watch it. What? Here's the thing, like so, watching Princess Mononoke, I actually had the option of watching. The theater that I was watching at is it only has two screens, and they were both playing Princess Mononoke. One was dubbed, one was subbed. So you had when you 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 buy one ticket and you just walk into whatever screen you want to watch it in. Which house was I went more into packed? The, I would I don't know I didn't like I think they were both packed. Okay, they were both like full house, full fuller um, house, fuller house. houses. <laughs> they were both fuller houses. Um, I went into dubbed because number one, I really really like. The sound of Billy Bob Thornton's voice <laughs> and Jada Pinkett Smith. 
what? Um, no, but I wanted to see what was, you know, the backgrounds and the, the beautifulness of the artwork and all of that stuff going on at the same time. And I kind of be like reading the whole time. I watch a lot of foreign movies like Tokyo Tribe and, and a lot of other Japanese and from, from everywhere. And I watch the subversion, right? And that's live action movies. And you can't watch a live action movie dubbed because it's just, you know, <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like bad. those old, like those old karate movies. Animation is not this, you know, it's not quite like that. They're just kind of moving their, you know, their mouths are just going open and closing. So it's like, they're not like enunciating like the, the actual words. Right. So it doesn't and look that yes. bad. Yeah. And there's a it's lot not of about like, huh. the look so far in animation as the actual sound. Like, I don't know. I haven't watched dubbed anime in a long time. And like dubbed anime in the 90s was some of the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it was like so bad in terms of like the voice acting? No, no, I guess, like, the way they would portray certain emotions and, like, it was just fucking cheesy as fuck. <laughs> like, oh, like, everybody had to have an accent, too. Um, oh, it was terrible. It was so bad. Okay, so, all right. A good show to me that's dubbed that I, I've i never seen this the subversion of, and that's a Cowboy Bebop. Mm-hmm. I love. That's the one that everyone says. I've, I've, I love. That's like a very rare. How Spike occasion. sounds and like everyone sounds in that. So I, I can imagine. Like, like Tenchi Muyo dubbed. <laughs> it's like so oh. bad. What? I went back and I like rewatched a few that I watched in English, and I watched it in English again just to see what it was, and it was like I couldn't believe how bad it was. Oh, so terrible. Like the it's like they they like hired a bunch of like people who were like I think it was just people who were just, just like random there people in the who were just there to just like, like dub op- these up the, the, just walk into the street like hey you hey or, like, yeah. you speak English <laughs> yeah all right. yeah cool the person who like was their typesetter or something and they were like you know you could be this character <laughs> I think you could be a voice actor hey you're a ooh, black ooh. guy voice I'm acting like, is like big business now though there's like really a lot of talented people out there in Japan. Well, here too. Uh, Burn. Yeah. <laughs> Burn. Dude. Well, they did, like in Princess Mononoke specifically, like they did, they, you know, they got like Minnie Driver and Claire Danes and like, yeah, all but they redubbed Billy, it. Billy Kudrup and, and they redubbed and, it. It was dubbed differently before. Oh, was it? Like English yeah, dubbed? Yeah. Okay. You probably got the, the second edition dubbed. Yeah, it was like the really talented voice or dubbed just actors. Going around. Yeah, they was had it? talented. Was it re- redone by Disney? Yeah, probably. Because Disney did some of the other ones. Yeah. Like the, the, the Sailor Moon, the like the re, re-release like Sailor Moon stuff from the 90s is completely redubbed. And like mm. Luna doesn't have that British accent anymore. Oh my gosh, she was <laughs> which like, pisses people <laughs> off. Because <laughs> so you many people re- remi- like remember Luna with the British accent, and it's kind of like rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Now that she like she sounds like a, a teenager oh. instead of like a Mary Poppins. mother figures kind of thing. Well, do you remember what uh, Usagi, the Sailor Moon, what she sounded like in oh my English? God. It was so bad. Oh my god! How about that Sailor like Moon Crystal? <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm yeah. not, no. I'm Is that not like, your favorite <laughs> no. show now? We're not going to talk about it. Sailor Moon Crystal, and it's a disgraceful. Just, I don't even know. I have no words for this show. I wow. just like so I, I judged it by bad. how it looked. Damn. It's and not just, only how it looks. Like sometimes you'll have like an anime, and like it's not particularly drawn very well, but the story is fucking amazing. So you'll piece. watch it. But like this is like complete shit. Like, nobody has any kind of personality. They all, like, seem the fucking same. It's drawn like... Dad. like Like a five-year-old drew this thing. Damn. It's Big like upset a, five-year-old. It's like a fan art. It's, it's like... Fan it's art. like a fan <laughs> art. It's like some fan decided to recreate Sailor Moon and, like, base it off the manga. Wait, this and, really is what happened, though. So, wait. There's a manga? So, then the manga sucks, then. No. But, I don't know. Wait, you're like, saying the show sucks. The new the Sailor Moon Crystal is like strictly based off the manga. So it's like as opposed word for to word. Like, 
But it's like somebody can base something oh. off of something and it not be good. Okay. You know how, like, all right, so I always wonder this, like in here in, in the, the U.S., like if there's a an adaptation from a source material, like let's say Batman vs. Superman's coming out in a couple of weeks and it's kind of based on, loosely based on the, the Frank Miller, uh, the, the Dark Knight Returns. And, and if it's not pure to the source material, then everybody here will like, they'll trip out. Like Freak out. Deadpool was really close to the source material of Deadpool. So that's why people were into it. Yeah, but the thing is, is like the Sailor Moon manga isn't that great, <laughs> to be it's honest with you. It's not bad, but it's not that great. The Sailor Moon anime from the 90s, they made it great. Like they added to it, you know, uh, it's not like they just but took was the it manga like the man- word was it for like, word. It's, you know, it has like some themes in the manga, but like they really like gave all of the girls really great personalities and like. The stories and all of like the small little stories that were, mm-hmm. you know, kind of what we call filler episodes actually gave they were it good filler. Yeah, like they gave it the weight that it needed, as opposed to like, for example, in Crystal, like you would get through half of what you'd watch in the old anime in like five episodes. <laughs> yeah, it looked like they it's had just, like every everything's character. like just super rushed into and like oh, it's so bad. Yeah, like by the fifth episode, they had every character. Yeah, by the fifth episode, they had every character, and like but they made us wait. And then like Sailor Moon is like a complete. She's just not a strong character anymore, and somehow like she became this like super weak. Like I only care about my boyfriend. Yo, tuxedo mask. And I'm like, for real. Is it still for real? tuxedo that mask? Guy, that guy's fucking. He's the best. He's, he's terrible. He's the best. Okay, he is awful. Snazzy dresser. He's the worst. Always gave him roses out. No. He's like... He's a dick. He's a dick. He's like a certified penis. I mean, come on. She's in high school. (laughs) Certified. She's not in high school. She's... Okay. She's in high school and he's like in college, right? No. No, she's in middle school and he's like 35. He's 30. She's 19. No. No, dude. Like in the 90s anime and I think even... Crystal, like she's in middle school. Like you start out with her in middle school. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, she's fourteen. She's fourteen. She's a fourteen-year-old girl, she's and he's already in college. Nice. That's awkward. Yeah. No, like yeah, he's kind of a pedophile. <laughs> That's the reason why he, he doesn't yeah. tr- take her serious. Then. But That's they're why. both from a different time, and then they came to this time. Yeah, but he's a dick in like the whole entire <laughs> thing. Like he's just like. You're a piece of shit. And she's You're like, I think like in one episode he calls her a trash pile. Nice. <laughs> the funny oh. thing is like, he what, what does she do? What, how does she react? He doesn't want to hurt her. Oh, oh my god, I can't <laughs> stand him. <laughs> I cannot stand him. No, he's the worst. Who doesn't like being called a trash pile? Sexy. Say it to me, Carlos. Shane, you pile of trash. Oh god. Yeah. Um. So what? Instead of doing like top five, like all time top fives, just. How about some recommendations for anybody that's maybe just something that's like, you know, not everybody has seen, like, not you know, seen. or something that's just kind of like something that you've seen that you're really into and people, other people should see it. Thanks to leave out Evangelion. No. <laughs> <come on. laughs> All right. You can Please. talk about it. Go ahead. Evangelion. Why not? Why I'm not? Sure, I was just, just, just going to say that because I know that's Every, Not everybody's favorite. seen Evangelion. I don't think saying it's Shane just wants to say that just so he can rub people the wrong way. Yeah, I'm just messing with Jamie. You're just trying to be difficult. Why? Why Ava? Why Ava? Because Ava. I need a whole. Obviously. I need a whole other podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can. We can. We can do a whole. Podcast we'll bring you guys on, back for that Evangelion. Uh, I think like any Ghibli movie. But, mm-hmm. like, specifically, like, Totoro or, like, um, Spirited Away or his Classics. last movie. Like, his last movie was fucking amazing. Um, that was the one with the, the pig? The Wind Rises. No. <laughs> no, that's a... Oh, sorry. It's not a pig that that's flies. That's Porco Rosso. And that was, like, in, 19, in the 90s. It was made in the 90s. So, like, The Wind Rises was just, like amazing and i am incredibly pissed that frozen one cat cat let it go dude i cannot yeah. let it go because frozen is it's all right 
it's okay. But like, really, really frozen. <laughs> Princess frozen. Mononoke, we were watching it, <laughs> and it was like part of this. Uh, the, the, the thing that they do at the New Parkway Theater is called Animation KO, where like, it's kind of like an animation club. And the guy that puts it together was like kind of hosting it. And before the movie started, he was like in front of the, the theater, when, you know, on a microphone, just saying like, hey, I'm really glad that you guys came out. And just anybody, what what is like something, another movie that we should do in the future? If you have any recommendations, let me know. And people started shouting out like, you know, um, all the, you know, Ninja Scroll or uh, uh, Spriggan. Or like, I've, I heard like people kind of shouting out like all these like Akira, obviously, you know. And I, I was like, perfect blue, you know, because I really want to see that on the, the big screen. And, uh, and then Saiyan goes, Saiyan, is a, he's a total troll. He was like, frozen. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, what? Like, what? what? <laughs> and, he's, he's, and mind you, like, he's the only kid in the whole entire theater. He's like the only child. It's like a cartoon movie, but he's the only kid in the whole movie theater. Nice. <laughs> he's kind of like the ambassador for you. So they're probably like... Ugh. This guy. Yeah, but no, he was he jerk. knew what he was doing though. He was fucking frozen. <laughs> like that just really pisses me off. I'm like frozen, really? Frozen. Hey. Do you, um, do you wanna be a snowman? No, no, motherfuckers, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh, Power no. of Disney. I can't always but wins. like like The Wind Rises is like one of his like really great movies. And it's a uh, and the movie's just fucking amazing. Like the visuals, the metaphors, and it's it's really a love story. And like, Whoa. if you if you don't know Miyazaki's movies or if you've never watched Miyazaki's movies, I've only watched two. a lot of a lot of the love themes in his movies is very kind of uh, innocent. It's not like they're gonna make out or whatever. You're not gonna like see those kinds of moments. And like this movie kind of jump that line where you have like these two people being incredibly affectionate with each other so it's interesting to see i mean even like brave of the fireflies i don't know if anybody's seen that but like that's again another world war ii movie and kind of like so is this a movie or anime it's it's a move it's an animated movie oh, okay so it's yeah all right and and just kind of like it's it's super depressing <laughs> but just the the terrors of war and like how it like affects the people in it you know and well it's like, yeah it's definitely well it's, that's something that's built into japanese culture like the effects of war yeah. so it's you know you 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 pretty much everything that they produce is like kind of under that veal of like the bomb right yep like so it's it's so much a part of like their day-to-day and i think we've always been kind of oblivious to it over here but we're starting to like you know now you you can sense that like people are starting to kind of be over it well it's like it's kind of like because we've never really had war on american soil well not in recent times the civil Uh, war yeah well (laughs) we're not talking about the civil war i mean like recently like people can remember these things these people are alive (laughs) <laughs> you know like europe has that you know you you still see that yeah. in a lot of european countries mm-hmm. and For you sure. know i feel like countries that have actually experienced war and seen the effects of what it has are a lot more progressive and are a lot more against doing that again because it's just not beneficial i mean you're right it's we america it's like we're that kid that we've never gotten like a black eye like or we never lost a a home game you know right because there was never any home games i mean i think like the closest thing was maybe like pearl harbor but that's like a really isolated incident and only people in that maybe particular area would know what it was like uh, yeah and it was like hawaii is not really part of america it is but it's not it like is. part of it's not part of mainland america so it wasn't yeah. like you know. just kidding hawaii i mean like the biggest the next biggest thing that we had were was um 9 11 but once again that that is just like pearl harbor it's just an isolated instance it's not like there were ground troops in new york 
like running around and we were fighting back, you know, and like, like running bomb campaigns throughout like Minnesota or some shit like that. None of that has ever happened on American soil. So you are right when you say that we do not have that idea of what this podcast got like super serious. Yeah, yeah let's say we took a big turn. Hey, hey. Um, can I can I can I like um, re- re- no just recommend like um, something for us to watch uh, possibly for next time is uh, Netflix's new anime series that was announced recently, Perfect Bones. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Is it anime no? or is it anime? It's anime. Yeah, it's from uh, Production IG, right? That that studio. Perfect. Um, um, so I remember seeing something that was like uh, an anime, but it said Netflix on it, so I was confused. Yeah, so Netflix, you know, like how they produce like shows. They're doing yeah. it, <laughs> but they're producing a, a, an anime, and it's um, and it is uh, I think the the dude is that um directed like the the animated sequence in Kill Bill. Oh, oh, nice. Um, Interesting. Yeah. That's so, uh huh. And so, Mama production. Oishi. Uh, Oishi. Yes. Is it Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> the dude. Uh, no, they they've done the production team. Um, they've done like Ghost in the Shell, the TV adaptation. They did uh the end of Evangelion film, and they did um the new uh Attack on Titan TV show. Produce. I think maybe they like helped on it, but Studio Wix was the main studio for Attack on Titan. Okay, well they well anyway. There's I, gonna be yeah, Perfect Bones is like I'm not sure what it's gonna be about, but I'm excited. I think it's I feel like it might be um I think like sci fi related. I don't know, like something kinda like Ghost in the Shell. Probably. Well, hopefully. That's what I'm into. Ghost in the Shell is a good because because i watched this anime recently and it was fucking insane and it was by the same team who did um attack on titan and what's it called okay it's what is it called it's called like the city of corpses or the nation of corpses or something like that Mm. so is uh is this why they haven't made a season two yet of attack on titan no they already made it it's coming out uh this year i probably fall fall time we were gonna have a long 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 time well at least they spend the time on it like unlike fucking sailor moon crystal best (laughs) anime best Mm. anime ever with like one eyeball and half of the face and the other one like on the forehead that is a true ass story (laughs) and apparently sailor moon crystal is getting a season two where they're gonna ruin the best characters of all time and i'm not going to enjoy this (laughs) So are we in on that or out on that? On what? On Sailor Moon Crystal? Sailor Moon Crystal, yeah. Just to be clear. I think Kat loves it as much as she loves Frozen. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, we'll 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 we'll, we'll watch know. some of these. Some of these. Um, We've gone far too long. <laughs> we'll watch some of these and then we'll 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 do this again. Yeah. And we'll talk about the the ones that we talked about and some new ones. Probably getting some Ava as well. Yeah, Saiyan's never seen Evangelion, so maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know we'll if you want we'll to go down that road. <laughs> I don't think he's hey, ready. I, I think that fine. Yeah. I watched it when I was 14, and I'm fine now. Nice. <laughs> Saiyan, Saiyan's, yeah, you're kind of fine, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Saiyan's, he'll be 14 this year. Then perfect. He's the yeah. right age to pilot. Mm-hmm. He is. Yeah. What's the, the boy version of a Lolita girl? Uh, there is that hentai that. you're talking about, no. Carlos? No. <laughs> no. Trying to bring your hentai onto. No, because when I met Jamie, she was like all like totally Lolita. like like decked out. Yeah, like when I first met her, that's that was. No, because when I stopped dressing like that, people complained. <laughs> people they were complained. Like, you've, you've changed, and I was like, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm wearing cat ears right now, and my hair is purple, so I don't really think I changed that much. You took a break. You're not hardcore anymore. You're just like You're blending into now. So- well, no one likes softcore. It's, that's He's the thing. Like you, in um, like when I'm a teenager, I got made fun of for being like that, and then when I went to college and I stopped being like that, I got made fun of. The moral so people the are dicks. moral of the story is that's, that's you should always be whatever the fuck you want to. because everybody's just gonna complain anyway. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think just maybe everybody hates me. No, no. Ah, that's em. not. We love you. I, fuck them. I want to say that, but I'm just kidding. Sorry. Uh, I'm just kidding. Of course, of course, I love you, Jamie. <laughs> and really want to say 
thank you ladies for being part of our yeah. awesome show we needed we needed there was too many dicks on yeah the, on too the many dance dicks floor. on the dance floor on this podcast the cat has a dick whoa whoa, whoa. breaking whoa. news we spoiler <laughs> spoiler alert. it is humongous <laughs> it's so big i have to like carry it in a little like you need a furniture person to carry it to yeah walk around i need it. i need one of those like you know when you like fuck up your leg they give you like one of those scooters oh god <laughs> yes yes you just yeah, you around. Those. like those little the wheelie those like yeah, wheelie. Yeah, yeah. she just she just sets it on there yeah <laughs> and walk around it's like crutches but with wheels on them the question yeah. is though is it is it wider or longer what's the it's pretty wide it's wide it's, i think i'd, I'd say size. it's like both it's like the best of both worlds yeah okay so that's how i know when we've we've we're finished because yep. we just <laughs> we've, been, this conversation, we've just gone completely off the rails so um so but, yeah thank you dicks, dicks, dicks. shane you want to take us out <laughs> i'm gonna take you guys out um dicks. all right we're going to red lobster dicks. no Ooh. i don't want to no i'm just kidding yeah, well i really want to say thank you kat and jamie for joining us on our podcast carlos thank you for being here as well just a little bit of shout outs to do before we dip out want to say first and foremost i want to sh- give a shout out to some jerk for being super awesome our intro and outro music for mm-hmm. letting us use his music for intro and outro and just to let you guys know of course we have our all of our podcast shenanigans in a visual format on our art school Tumblr. rejects pod dot and of course check us People out could get in touch with us there right yeah you just gotta you can you can you can, you can comment, comment. There or ask a question yeah you don't even need to be like signed into um what's that thing tumblr. called tumblr or anything like that i don't think i have one no nah, this is probably good but mm-hmm. um <laughs> it is yeah and then of course on itunes and soundcloud and soundcloud and stitcher check us all out there so as we say bon sayonara. <laughs> sayonara. <laughs> oh, yes, me. i don't Bad. know anyway so yeah thank you guys so much for listening Broccoli man.